everyone who is a creative, wants to be a creative, likes creativity, um, and is uh, not necessarily white. Okay, there we go. <laughs> a lot of shade today. <laughs> when I was young, I used to read Harry Potter obsessively. Shout out to all you slow kids who waited for that Hogwarts letter incessantly. You know, we all wish for that magic to be real. I hope that flicker one wooden stick would be the more wishes to my one genie's wish. Lumos, the scary darkness in, in my room, Akio, my chocolate bar, expect a Patronum, a big ass pony to my front yard. Mm -hmm. I could have never imagined all the magic around me as an adult. I would be shape shifting on a daily basis. I see Grinches turn into charming humans at the sight of strangers' faces. I see family members showing no care or consideration, then turn right around and be offended when they go receive their wedding invitation. Mm -hmm. I've seen brown people at work paint on a white layer, pretending to go to the bathroom, come time for prayer. <laughs> As if believing in God brings us more shame than announcing our need to secrete bodily fluids and waste. Hey. 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 If I could control this shape shifting, I would change the person who always promised me to change, but never could. What do I witness? <laughs> I thought I had it. Oh yeah, I witnessed the magic of disappearing. I wish I witnessed the magic of disappearing, and I never knew. I see the Caucasian disappear from the criminal on the news, mm. or the terrorist on the news. Mm. I see fathers, fathers disappear from childhoods of sons and daughters. I see job opportunities disappear in front of hijabis and black actors. Yeah. I saw my own happiness disappear out the window of the plane when I returned to Copenhagen from my Toronto exchange. I'm not sure what it's called when sleeping becomes difficult and the appetite of friends that barely visits. I'm not sure if I, would, if I ever felt at home in this country I was born in. I'm trying to recount everything I know for sure, like, I was not made to blend in with the cobblestone of Copenhagen. I'm done with trying to fit into a smaller space than my own skin. I'm done with turning my jam session into a cappella. It's not my fault that they are the insecure stepsister to my Cinderella. <laughs> to be depressed when returning home. If that's true, then too many people never found a place they wish to call their own, never found safety in a war zone if Harry Potter were real. I'm sure this world would have more than one Voldemort. And Harry would probably be an orphan Isis warlord. It would be a world where none of us would protect him and Hermione would be asked to stay back in the kitchen. While orange-headed goofs like Ron to get our business I don't wish for magic to be real because I, I, because it already is. I know because I tasted some sweet magic in Toronto and that stuff has got me addicted. Came back chasing the same high in the kind of art spaces where you have to get up and serve yourself if you're not white. Shout out to Delella for making sure that doesn't happen today. <laughs> now all I wish is for people to start chasing their own magic. I wish for us to protect each other's magic with our last breath. I wish to return to the place where it doesn't matter if you practice white, black, or brown magic. Where inspiration flows through curls, dreads, and hijab fabrics. I'm done with waiting for a letter to tell me I can levitate. My feet haven't touched the ground since my first steps anyway. Call for all magicians to come forth with pens, brushes, and drums in hand. Let's offer some inspiration and abracadabra the racism. Abracadabra the racism, baby. Let's bring some magic to our proud little nation. Thank you. Yeah.